I think I discovered the fountain of youth. Stick around. So I didn't discover the fountain youth, but I did discover something called bone broth. Now I've been drinking this for about four years now. So in my 60s, I make extra sure that I get what I really want and I really need. But not to make this a long drawn out video, you can Google this, check it out for yourself, better yet, make it for yourself, and then decide for yourself what you think. This stuff is good, it's nutritious, it's tasty, and let me tell you, huh? How's that look, right? Yeah? Disgusting, I know. It's a bunch of bones. So look, once in a while, we buy the, um, we get a rotisserie chicken at the market, right? Instead of we used to throw this thing away, now I do something even better with it, okay? So look, we're gonna take this big guy, boom, throw it in there, and look, it's in a hole. So, not too worried about it. So we talk about a fountain use. So what starts to happen is, as this thing cooks and all that good stuff starts to happen, we break down bone and connective tissue, draw out some highly nutritious vitamins and minerals. It's been shown it's been great for gut health, for inflammation, joint health, and even better skin. So that's probably where the uh, Fountain of Youth comes in. Now, don't go by me, okay, about the better skin part. But a lot of people claim that it does, so bonus, all right, if it works for you. So let's get started. So here we go. Through the, uh, the carcass in there, I got a bunch of water. This is a, I'm just gonna put in there and spill a little bit. All right, that was a mess. Anyway, we're gonna fill this thing up. It should cover this thing. And it did. Let me grab a little more. Talk about yourself. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. All right, let's try this. Let me tell you, this thing is so simple to do. Of course, really, there's, there's not too much that you have to do to it. So, we did that. Couple onions. That's it. Look, you don't have to take the skin off. Drop those bad boys in there. Carrots, you can get whatever you want. It don't matter. Throw them in there. Got some celery. Again, here's the beauty, man. You have to chop nothing. You don't have to worry about measuring stuff. <laughs> I think another best word. Now, I do like to add, okay, here, here's basically the secret ingredient. Vinegar. So vinegar is going to draw out and pull out all the nutrients, break up that connective tissue, and give you all that great stuff that you need, okay? So I'll just put some of this in now. I suppose I measure it. I'm, you know, just put some in. What's that, a couple tablespoons? A little more? Quarter cup, let's call it a quarter cup. All right, now, season it as you wish. Again, you can put whatever you want in there. This is what I put in there. And let me tell you, man, when you're done, it tastes dynamite. So we're gonna put some salt in there. And look, this looks like a lot. There's a lot of liquid in there. And man, these are my go-to uh, seasonings. Onion powder, let's make some onion powder in there. Good. Garlic powder. Love some garlic powder. Put that in there. Load it up. Now look, you can always add more and adjust the flavor. Here's some pepper, some black pepper. Nothing special here. Just great flavor, man. And look, I, I find a way to add this to a bunch of stuff. Now I put it in my eggs in the morning. I put this in my rice when I, I steam some rice. Uh, turmeric or turmeric. I don't know. Which one is it? I call it turmeric. You call it what you want, just put it in. Good stuff. So, put some turmeric in there. That said, you know, we're gonna get something to stir it up here. Gotta go with a wooden spoon. Being Italian, if you don't have a wooden spoon, you don't use it. Then they disown your, that's never good. In case some of my family members, it would be good. <laughs> All right, that's done. Put that in there. That's it. We put this thing on low, cover it up. 24 hours later, you come back, everything will be broken apart. We'll strain it. And it'll just be a great, great, great tasty broth with just dynamite stuff in it. Full of nutrients, full of vitamins, just a healthy, healthy drink, okay? I drink one of these every day, probably like in the afternoon. You know what, something with a little, little shot of something? Boom, cup of bone broth, get it in me. It's good, it's tasty. Hell, you can do whatever you want with it. You can make it a soup and put other stuff in it if you want, but I just drink it plain, just like that. It's good, and that's that. So when it's all done, I'll show you what it winds up looking like, okay? All this makes about a quart of bone broth. So man, give it a try. I'm telling you, you'll love it and it will be great for you. Check me out, right? Give me that skin. <laughs> I mean, trust me, just do it anyway, okay? Forget the skin part. Enjoy it. Give me some comments. Give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button, wherever it may go. All right, this is Johnny D. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.
There it is, check it out. That's liquid gold right there. There's the bone broth. We started out with that big crock pot, ended up with two of these. Now this one here, there's 56 ounces in there. The smaller one, we got 24 ounces in there. So we got 80 ounces all together. So 80 ounces, homemade bone broth. Great stuff, great for you. Tastes amazing. Give it a shot, easy to do. All right, there you have it guys. Take care, bye-bye.